I'm honored to be here today to celebrate the beginning of construction of what will become San Francisco's largest indoor entertainment venue, the state-of-the-art Chase Center. We just want to win. And most importantly, we all care about each other. And so everything else is secondary to that. No one really cares about the accolades, about the individual statistics. We trust each other. We believe in each other. We set a culture that caters to everybody's strengths. That's the sign of a true team. We want everybody to be who they are. We want everybody to have that confidence in themselves that they can do amazing things out there on the floor. It's a team game. Everybody has a part in it. And that's what allows us to try to reach heights that not many people have been able to reach in our game. The Golden State Warriors began the quest to repeat as NBA champions with a preseason trip to China for NBA Global Games 2017. The Warriors had played in the three previous NBA Finals, winning twice. And their run of success had made the whole world take notice. Great job on the season as well. Last few seasons have been amazing. Congratulations. NBA's 24th game in China. Quick passing for Golden State. Curry fires another three, got it! And the fans who have come out of Shanghai are getting what they wanted. It's been an amazing trip and experience. We're ready to get back home and start the season. Uh, let's get into a little offense. We're gonna walk through a few things, and then we'll go we'll split it. There was still work to do in preparation for the long road ahead, that would officially begin with a ring night celebration. The NBA season is underway here at Oracle Arena. That'd be to get started. You know, rings would be cool, but we gotta move on. Your 2017 NBA champion, Golden State Warriors! Defending their crown with a third title in four seasons could elevate the Golden State Warriors into the conversation of the greatest teams the league had ever known. I'm not saying I could expect it, but we did dream it. Every single day, we have to have this relentless pursuit of excellence. No one's gonna stop for us. And certainly not the Warriors opponent on ring night, the Houston Rockets. From the boardroom to the hardwood, they have been completely focused on Golden State. They make no secret about that. They were trying to find a recipe that would allow them to beat the Warriors. To close the gap, Houston had acquired nine-time All-Star Chris Paul to join James Harden in an already lethal offense. But as the opener got underway, it appeared that the Rockets were still several steps behind. Here's the lead off for Durant. Kicks it out. Thompson. Played well. We got off to a huge lead. You know, we're telling ourselves, all right, we got it. We, you know, we right back where we left off. But then the Rockets never went away. Cuts it to a one-point lead. And it was, wait a minute, Houston's built a little differently. 10-3, Houston run. And the Rockets lead for the first time since the opening minute. The Rockets would overcome a 17-point deficit to defeat the defending champs on opening night. Houston was just letting us know, like, you know, we're coming for you guys this year. That loss was just one of several, as the Warriors found themselves hovering near the 500 mark in the early weeks of the season. We had losses that people have grown accustomed to us not having. 
I think we have some mental fatigue more so than anything. We just came off a long season, uh, which was right after a long season, which is right after a long season. Keep plugging away, it's coming. And every game seemed like it was against a squad who had circled the night on their schedule. Whether it's the Rockets or any other team, they see us as the benchmark. The league is coming for us. Regain control, come on now. Every pass, every possession, play with a purpose. Teams have gotten better over the summer to try to beat us. And the Thunder have walloped the Warriors tonight. We had to figure out how to elevate our game to another level. It was only a month into the season, and the Warriors needed a boost. They wouldn't have to look too far to find one. Yeah, he's going to fit in okay. An infusion of energy was provided by a second round pick from Oregon, Jordan Bell. Jordan Bell, a high flyer. There was a lot of people in the Bay Area like, man, we love watching them play because even as great as those four All-Stars are, none of them jump like Jordan. Going upstairs and thrown down the power dunk, elevating above the iron Jordan Bell. We could see right away that he was going to help us. In the modern NBA, you have to switch everything and guard every position, and he had that ability. Lillard has it blocked by Jordan Bell! JB, you're doing so much great stuff, man. You're killing it. You're killing it. Awesome. People keep saying, oh, he already outplayed his expectations. I'm like, my expectations are way higher. Like, I don't know what everybody's talking about. Jordan Bell would flourish in December. 20 of 10 for Jordan Bell in 23 minutes. And so did the Warriors. Warriors win their 11th straight game. And with the Rockets losing tonight, Golden State now has the best record in the NBA. The Warriors were finding their rhythm and in signature fashion, overpowering their opponents with explosive third quarter performances. You know, it's like first two rounds of a boxing match. But we're gonna figure them out in that first half. In that third quarter, we're gonna make the perfect adjustment. Been an unbelievable turnaround in this third quarter. Green again to Curry. Look out. It's always great to see, you know, how we turn it around in the third quarter. Just the energy and the effort. Durant blocked that. Draymond's leaking out. He catches. Touchdown! Timeout Dallas. Teams kind of feel it coming. 6 0 run in 40 seconds. Timeout. Come back out of timeout. 7 0 run in a minute. Timeout. Warriors down three, a three on the way, buries it! Threes are coming, you know, we're flying around and getting stops, and suddenly we really start playing Warriors basketball. Between the legs, Curry three, you yes, The third quarter, something special seems to happen. I'm on the court or on the bench, it's just amazing. On the bench, it might even be more fun. Having fun, turning up. We on the bench, we just cheering these guys on. Everybody feeds off each other's energy. With three, with two, finds Young, left corner, three, got it at the buzzer! This building is shaking. A 14-0 run to end the third quarter. By Christmas, the Warriors look to be back in championship form. But what do you give a team that seems to have it all? Merry Christmas. How about a test against the Cleveland Cavaliers in front of a worldwide audience? All-time leader and wins on Christmas. So we got to go out here and do what we do best, all right? A holiday tradition, the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers, two teams that have met in the NBA Finals for three straight years, meeting on Christmas Day. Coming back off! Coming back off! Back out to Crowder, to James, now to Tristan Thompson, with a block by Draymond! Draymond came out of nowhere and pinned it on the glass! KD on the break, right down Broadway, right hand slam! The back and forth affair lived up to the advanced billing. Like so many of the 24 previous battles in the last three seasons, this one would come down to a final possession. You get a stop and a rebound, you win. LeBron James crossover dribble down the lane, goes up, blocked by Durant, it's out of bounds! And Kevin Durant locked it off LeBron James. Hard fought game here at Oakland, and the Warriors prevail. Great win. Most importantly, Merry Christmas to everybody, man. It was two great teams going at it. You got to appreciate that on Christmas. The momentum would carry over into the new year. 
Draymond Green would pass Hall of Famer Tom Gola to become the team's all-time leader in triple doubles. The Warriors would tie a franchise record with a 14-game road winning streak. Their last road loss was November 22nd before Thanksgiving. What does it take to sustain a streak like that in different hostile environments? Every night, you know, different guys step up. Uh, you don't know who it is, and that's what makes it special. You deal with the NBA season, you learn that you're going to need everybody on the roster at some point. Looney kept running to the rim! And an opportunity for a three-point play! And he's making the most of his opportunity. I love it. They didn't really define a role for me. I kind of just carved one out for myself. Kevon Looney had been drafted in 2015, but his progress had been slowed by a series of injuries. Now, the 22-year-old forward was anxious to contribute. I had a chance to learn from the veteran guys in my first couple years, and now I have the opportunity to play and be out there on the court compete with them. The shoes for me in my career. Looney! The layup and the foul! Mooney has gone from injured to invaluable. We're not old, but we're a core that's getting a little older, so you want to have some youth, especially due to the length of the previous seasons. And this season was proving to be difficult for the Warriors to gain any sort of consistency. They dropped 5 of 12 heading into the All-Star break, with their most notable loss coming again at the hands of the Houston Rockets. Curry switches off, four to shoot. Harden shake and bake, steps back, three-pointer, bang! Remembering the Rockets kind of pounding their chest a little bit. Remember Clint Capella saying after that win that they were the best team in, in the league. The best players in the association would gather in Los Angeles for NBA All-Star 2018. That meant for the first time in league history, a single team would send four representatives in consecutive years. We get it. We've been here before. <laughs> and the weekend would have a different vibe with the two top vote getters picking the sides. Team Stefan versus Team LeBron. The new format should be pretty exciting, man. It was me, Clay, and Draymond together playing against KD and his squad, so. It was fun. It made the game a little bit more competitive. Team LeBron in the white uniforms and Team Steph in the black. Here's Curry over LeBron James. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? I like it. With 10.7 to go, Team LeBron's up the ring. Now to five seconds. Curry looking for the three. Curry double team. Curry can't find it. Now it goes. And that will do it. Happy <laughs> Since I've been playing All-Star games, this is the best one. All-Star weekend in L.A., just an opportunity to put a show on for the fans, and I think we gave the fans what they wanted, so that's what it's all about. When the schedule resumed following the break, Golden State found itself back to reality, and a harsh one at that. All four of their All-Stars were forced to miss time due to injury. But none was more debilitating than the knee injury suffered by Stephen Curry in late March. This is the part where you say, uh-oh. Whole building has become silent here. Steph gets hurt, and it's like, when is he coming back? What is he going to look like when he comes back? Steph had been diagnosed with a grade 2 MCL sprain, and there was no definitive timetable for his return. We really didn't have a lot of answers at the point guard position with Steph out. So we needed somebody, you know, to come in and kind of, you know, right the ship a bit. Fortunately for the Warriors, Durant's former AAU teammate was 70 miles down the road in Santa Cruz. Quinn Cook was just waiting for his opportunity. Starting out, not getting drafted and playing on 10 day contracts, going to training camp on non guaranteed contracts. And Cook also just happened to be one of the leading scorers in the G League. So the Warriors decided to give him a chance. The 25-year-old point guard would look to make the most of it. Quinn stepped in and played at such a high level, and we needed that badly at the time. Cook, pump fake, spins, shoots a two, it's good, and he got fouled! You know, you got 
Coach Kerr telling me, you know, to shoot, you know, when I have the opportunity to play my game, and uh, that was big for my confidence. Cook would have a banner month of March. Quinn Cook, three, got it! With scoring outburst of 20, 25, 28, and 30. That kid came and stepped up and won us games. Quinn earned an NBA spot like I've never seen before. His love for the game stood out more than anybody's, and seeing how far he's come has only made him stronger and better, and it's made us tighter. You know, I think a lot of people can be inspired by the story of Quinn Cook. But Cook could only do so much for the Warriors, who limped toward the postseason, falling in 10 of their final 17 games. I think anybody who saw the Warriors play in the final two weeks of the season would go, boy, they're, they're, they're in trouble. And the Warriors have now dropped three in a row. And it's like, they might be vulnerable enough to where if you get a good shot in, you could take them down. Golden State seven games behind Houston. At that point, I'm thinking, are we gonna be able to turn it on? As the 2018 playoffs were about to unfold, the Warriors win an unfamiliar position as a two seed in the West. And with Steph Curry still out, the path forward would be even more daunting. We can't depend on Steph coming back to save our season. We're just not playing basketball saying, hey, can't wait to Steph get back, can't wait to Steph get back. We know that we have a job to do no matter who's on the floor. In the opening round, they would face the battle-tested San Antonio Spurs, and the Warriors would have to regain their focus on both ends of the court. In that first round against San Antonio, there was the defense. Baseline, Pompey, Pompey goes up, blocked by McGee, knocked it away. The one thing we know that's made us special is our defense. This is Danny Green on the drive. Oh, rejected by Durant. All about the defense. These guys are suffocating, suffocating. That's outstanding championship defense that we've become accustomed to watching them play. Smothering the Spurs in five games, it appeared the Warriors had found a level of intensity that had eluded them for stretches during the regular season. And Golden State has played the first round series in five. They advance to the Western Conference semifinal. It's a great ball club. Get this win and move on. It's the right time of year to be doing that, so it's a good one for us. Advancing to the conference semifinals, Golden State was presented with another challenge in Anthony Davis, who had led the New Orleans Pelicans to a stunning first round sweep. I think as much as any team in the playoffs, the Pelicans had great momentum going into the series. I mean, they just destroyed Portland, a really good team. Good luck, good luck. Hey, good luck. I hope we right. kill you yeah. guys, that's what I really hope. <laughs> Against New Orleans, Draymond Green would lead the way for the Warriors. Draymond right down Broadway with a right hand slam. Draymond Green was absolutely phenomenal in that series, played the best basketball he's played all season, especially defensively. The perennial all-league defender would average a triple-double for the series. But perhaps more importantly for the team, they were about to be at full strength in game two. I worked hard to get ready for that. I've never been coming back from an injury, missing that much time into a playoff series. It's a standing ovation as Steph Curry comes on. I didn't really know what to expect with the speed of the game and the intensity of a playoff type game, having missed you know, six weeks. So I was excited, I was anxious, I was nervous. Curry curling off a screen, catches left side, shoots a shot, it's up and good, a three ball for Curry. And just like that, he is welcome back. Without Steph Curry, this Warrior team is still an elite basketball team. But with Steph Curry, it takes them from elite to championship. Be able to get Steph back, it strengthened us. You know, it gave us that boost. Golden State comes out, firing it. Curry knocks down the three-pointer. Yeah, step in. Yeah, let's go. You're back, baby. You're coming back. Finally, firing on all cylinders, the Warriors dispatched the Pelicans in five games and prepared for their biggest test yet. We do what we're supposed to do. Tough to close out a series, but we did it. On to the next round. It's gonna be tough, but we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. They would have to be, 
because up next was a showdown with the 65 and 17 Houston Rockets. Led by MVP candidate James Harden, Houston had earned the top spot in the West. It's the series that basketball fans have been waiting for for months. They were the best team this year in the league. Uh, they had the best record. They made it known that this is what they were gearing up for. They're an amazing team. They're talented. They were designed to beat us. Houston was the team that was better prepared to beat us than anybody we'd seen. Good luck, man. Hey, good luck, man. All right. Hell of a job. All right. All right. So this was our biggest test. All season long, these two superpowers appeared to be on a collision course. And in the opener of the conference finals, they lived up to the hype. Game tied at 56. Wow, what a half of basketball. Everything that you expected from this game in this series. It's what it's gonna look like all series, all right? So stay composed, keep executing. When the Warriors went on one of their patented third quarter runs, it would provide the spark to steal away the Rockets' home court advantage. Great job. I could not be happier right now. Quickly to Klay Thompson, quick release. Good! On the left wing for Klay Thompson. Durant takes a three over Harden, knocked it down. Outstanding performance for Kevin Durant, 37 points. The Warriors have come to Houston and have captured game one. They just came to play, and then I think that game one win in Houston, man, they definitely made a statement. Huge game. Come on the road and get game one. West Coast Finals, that's big. But in game two, Houston answered with a fury, putting their high-powered attack on full display. Tucker, harassed by Green, plays it back in the corner to Harden. 4-3, got it! Houston showed, like, oh yeah, we're here. Like, we're ready for this. The Rockets respond in emphatic fashion as they route the Warriors to even up this series at a game of peace. Back in the Bay for game three, Golden State was eager to reassume control. Let's have fun, do it together. And they'd follow the lead of Stephen Curry, who erupted for 35 points. Three ball, Curry! There we go, right now, right now, right now! The Warriors would overwhelm the Rockets' defense on their way to a 40-point blowout win. Game three, we had it all figured out. We had our defense figured out. Bob Ute goes up, blocked by Looney! He met him above the rim! We had our offense figured out. Here comes Draymond Green with a loose ball. Backdoor cut, Clay Thompson goes up in traffic, hangs and scores! And then Andre goes down and it changes everything. It would prove to be a costly victory when Andre Iguodala sustained a knee injury. Considered an integral part of the Warriors' success, the 2015 NBA Finals MVP was being counted on to help keep the Rockets' explosive offense in check. We knew it would be tough, and it, it was tough, but it was really tough when Andre went down. Although Iguodala was sidelined for game four, Golden State was still playing at Oracle Arena, where they were riding an NBA playoff record 16-game home winning streak. Curry bounce pass, levels it to the rim, left hand! Holding a 12-point lead in the fourth quarter, it appeared the home team was about to take a commanding three games to one lead. But the Rockets were clearly not prepared to go quietly. Paul rides on foul on hit it. Paul working on Thompson. That's a tough three. He hit it. We did a much better job last six minutes. We're right there, but we can't let down. Paul whips it across on the skip to Ariza, fakes it three steps right, shoots for the lead, got it! Trevor Ariza gives the Rockets the lead of the corner three! Paul comes left, bounce pass up top, Eric Gordon for three! And he knocks it down! The Rockets come to Oracle Arena here in Oakland and win it, tying the series at two games apiece. When you blow a home game, as the Warriors did in game four, in that fourth quarter, against an elite team, it almost always costs you the series. The Warriors had squandered an opportunity to push the Rockets to the brink of elimination. 
and we're now facing a long trip back to Houston for a pivotal game five. And with the conference finals now reduced to a best two out of three, it was a desperate back and forth battle to gain the upper hand. 11 lead changes, nine ties. Game five will go down to the fourth. Man, there is no one sitting down in this building. The Rockets floor general, Chris Paul, would spark a fourth quarter surge. Paul, the floater off the glass and in. On a time look. Six point game, four minutes. Get a good shot down there. Draymond to the rack, he lays it up and no good. Got his own rebound and tipped it back in. It's a one point game. A minute and 30 for me. Harden crosses over Curry, comes into the paint, goes to Gordon, catches, shoots a three. Got it! After Eric Gordon had delivered from deep in the closing moments, Houston clung to a slim lead. Golden State still had one more chance until they uncharacteristically let it slip right through their hands. The Houston Rockets have survived game five and are now one win away from the NBA Finals. After that game five, nobody said a word. It looked like the Grim Reaper was walking with the team into the locker room. And I was like, this could be the end of it. I remember being in the locker room after game five and just looking around at guys' faces. There was no panic. Down 3-2, coming home for a game six. This is it. The championship was on the line right then. A hamstring injury would force Chris Paul to the sideline. But despite the absence of the Rockets point guard, Houston seemed determined to close things out, racing to a huge advantage in the opening quarter. You can hear a pin drop inside the Oracle. Golden State, to me, is kind of going through the motions. Another steal, here's Hart. Two on one the other way, Hart to Tucker in the corner. He's wide open, he'll shoot the three, he hits it! And the Warriors' season is on the ropes right now. They are down by 17. Being down 17 put a lot of pressure on us. We didn't want to go out like this. Two years earlier, the Warriors had also faced extinction in a game six against Oklahoma City before a certain Splash Brother would heroically ride to the rescue. Who comes to life when we go down? And we're facing elimination. Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson by the left hash mark. Pulls up, shoots over Tucker, and nails a three. I knew our backs against the wall, and I just told myself to leave it all out there. Durant pulls up in the traffic, loses the ball, bats it out to Curry, finds Thompson, right corner, three. Got it! Play Thompson was absolutely remarkable. Draymond throws to Thompson. He's open right side, three. Got it! And the Warriors take the lead. In that game six, Clay took over for us and saved our season. Shovel back to play at the 27 footer. Up and good again. That's probably the most animated I ever was in a basketball game because I really had my heart and soul in that game for 48 minutes. There will be a seventh and deciding game back in Houston Monday night. So this highly anticipated series will go the distance. <laughs> We ain't done, man. Dude, we ain't trying to go home. We ain't done, baby. Go home. Yeah. More. Thank you. It's the moment we all dream of as kids. Trying to win a game seven. These two teams on a collision course all year now have one moment, 48 minutes, to try and decide which team will move on. We got to do this for 48 minutes. Just us, one, two, three, just us. Having to play a game seven on the road, something that we hadn't done in this new Warrior era. So we knew what the task was gonna be. Somehow, the Warriors stumbled out of the gate and found themselves once again fighting an uphill battle. Harden dancing on Thompson, fires up a three, got fouled! He just hit it! 
Dave, what did you see from your team in the first quarter? I saw one of the worst quarters of basketball we've ever played, and we're down five points. So if we can get our act together, we'll be fine. But the Rockets dominate as the onslaught continues. On the drive, went behind the back to the play. In the first half, we were awful. We couldn't get anything going. We were turning it over. Hart stole the pass and then streaks the other way and dunks it down. The lead is 15. 48-33 Houston. The Warriors were facing yet another double-digit deficit heading into the second half with only 24 minutes to save their season. I was never more worried in my Warriors tenure of ownership than I was at halftime of game seven on the road because we had never been in that situation. As a writer on deadline, you're writing their obituary. You're literally writing their obituary. To be down at double digits at halftime, face of elimination, I think that's where they look at each other and it's like, so is this how we're going to go out or not? Draymond Green dribbles in, shoots off balance, no good, got his own rebound, and it rolls down. Down on the road, you just got to stick with it and stick with it and stick with it. Curry dribbles on Tucker, throws to Durant, straight on for a triple, got it! The character of the team will always reveal itself at some point, and usually when things are difficult. Gordon, three, no good. Rebound, Curry in the scrum. Comes up with it, gets it out to Durant. Over to Nick Young, he's open for three. Got it, Nick Young! And we've got a five-point game. It wasn't about adjustments, it was about a mindset and a competitiveness that I think kicked in. You just have to keep fighting. Durant off the screen, takes a quick three, and he knocked it down and ties the game. Having guys with special talents like Clay and Steph and KD and Draymond, and they never get worried. It gives us confidence that we can come back from any deficit. Curry cruising the baseline, throws to Bell, between the legs, back to Curry, three ball in the corner, Curry! The third quarter is the charm again for Golden State. Game seven and a return trip to the finals were still up for grabs late in the fourth quarter when the Warriors put the finishing touches on this stirring comeback. Curry throws to Durant, who slipped the pick, goes into the layup, and banked it home. Being down 15 in game seven and fighting our way back to win, I think that showed a lot of character. Yes, sir! Oh! And the Golden State Warriors are on their way to a fourth consecutive NBA final. It was just a hard fought series. Yeah! 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 Nothing was easy about it. You know, any of those seven games and it tested us. I was tough. I give that team a lot of credit. This one feels great, man. It's amazing. We ain't done it yet though. Hey, we got one day to chill now, then we got a lot back in. The Warriors had won the right to defend their crown at the 2018 NBA Finals, where a familiar foe would be waiting. Although the Cleveland Cavaliers had a roller coaster of a regular season, LeBron James was determined to carry them on another title run. And he would do it in spectacular fashion. James, two seconds. LeBron goes to work, firing for the win. LeBron into the forecourt, in on Ananobi, gets shoved toward the side. Throws up the floater. Oh, Cleveland! That is for you! Three on one break for Boston. Rogier to the basket. Oh, blocked by James! Oh, my goodness! LeBron James and the Cavs do it again. For the fourth straight season, the Cleveland Cavaliers are headed to the NBA Finals. With all the back and forth throughout the year and the ups and downs that that group went through, I don't think we ever doubted we'd see him in the finals. Welcome to the 2018 NBA Finals. We knew that, you know, a lot of people were kind of like, here we go again. But to us, it was just like, you know, you got two great teams, so we're going to keep meeting up. Never before in the history of American sports have the same teams bet for a championship in four consecutive years. 
I was excited. I was very excited. It's a rivalry. It's hard to get to the finals four straight years. I don't know where the finals experience is without facing the Cavs. The moment is here, man. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Let's come out here and hit first. Let's get it, man. Here we go, man. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Yeah. Come on. The finals in Cleveland are kind of synonymous to me. Round four, Cavs and the Warriors. From the opening tip, it was apparent that the King was intent upon imposing his will. Game layup off the glass, banks it home. LeBron James so aggressive offensively. Kicks to LeBron James, who pulls up long three. Hey! Knocks it down. LeBron's wrecking shop on everybody. And Cleveland's playing great basketball. James drives past Livingston and throws it down. Excellent start for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Having survived the initial barrage, the defending champions remain composed. It's a 48-minute game. It's a long game, all right? Stay with us. Bounce pass to Bell. Bell in traffic. Back to Curry. Curry behind the back to Thompson. Behind the back to Draymond. Back to Curry right side. Curry crowded by Hill. Left-hand dribble goes hard. Curry the runner. Banks it home again. Another difficult shot. Cleveland up three with five seconds to go in the half. Ahead to Curry. Curry sets fire. Puts it up. Let's get off to a good start. Third quarter is our court. As they had done so often this season, the Warriors came out on fire after intermission. Curry up the floor. Curry hits the accelerator, leads the break, throws it up to Thompson for the lay-in. Oh, perfectly timed pass. The third quarter avalanche underway. Deron Lue has to call a timeout. We're weather the storm. We got to be dogs now. Let's go get it. it. Took a while for us to wake up in that first game. And LeBron always wakes you up. He got away from us. He made it a game. Here's LeBron at the right point. Guarded now by Curry on the switch. B lines to the basket and ducks over Durant. Oh my, LeBron has 44. It's Warriors 100, Cavaliers 98. The shot clock reads eight. LeBron down the right alley, ran into traffic. Banks and scores. He got fouled by Looney. And LeBron James has a chance for the three-point play. Just moments here at Oracle Arena for the sellout crowd. Curry with the ball. Dribble drive on J.R. Smith down the lane to the rim. Goes up, scored, and he got fouled. Curry! With 4.7 seconds left and the game tied, Cleveland had a golden opportunity to shock the defending champs and steal the opener. Hill misses. Rebound goes to the Cavs. J.R. Smith brings it back out. Throws it to Hill. Hill shot blocked. And we'll go to overtime. That was a game that hung in the balance. Anytime you come down to the last possession, it's razor thin. The Cavaliers were unable to capitalize, and the Warriors were ready to seize the moment. Back to Thompson, corner three. Puts it in. They're starting to celebrate now at Oracle Arena. Livingston to Draymond, takes a three, it's good! He nailed it! The shot clock buzzer was down to zero. And that'll do it. Golden State survives in overtime, despite a 51-point performance from LeBron James. He had an amazing night. That game went so back and forth the whole time. There. Thankfully, we got out of there with a win. That was a good game, man. They played a hell of a game. We made some plays down the stretch going to overtime, and we played well in overtime. You don't want to play like that all the time. We're we'll taking it in the finals. The finals, man, anything's liable to happen. And all that matters is you get a win and turn the page to game two. While the Warriors' big names had led the way in the opener, in game two, they'd get a lift from JaVale McGee. The veteran center had played sparingly in the postseason, but now, he was inserted into the starting lineup. I was staying ready the whole time, just trying to keep my mind in it, just like, now what if they need me in the final? Nice pass inside, and McGee right away pays dividends with the first bucket of the game. Javale, we could see he fit 
at Cleveland series. And some easy looks early for the Warriors. Golden State came out aggressively and jumped out to a 13 point first half advantage. A red hot Golden State offense right now. Despite the Warriors fast start, Cleveland was not prepared to go down without a fight. Up top to James, five to shoot. James inside. Beautiful move from LeBron James. Has continued to keep it close despite some many runs by the Warriors. Love off the dribble, drives, layup, banks it home. Yeah, Coach. Four. Every time it seems like the Warriors are going to break this game open, the Cavaliers respond. With the contest still to be decided, two-time league MVP Stephen Curry sensed it was his time to shine. You want to play amazing when the lights are the brightest. You no brighter light than the finals. Curry dribbles middle, pulls up from downtown. That's good. I think the thing with Steph is he puts that, that fear in people, and it's just like, what you going to do? Curry way outside, another three. Steph Curry. Steph went nuts. It's a joy to watch. He made some daggers that game. I mean, backing up to half court. Shot clock winding down. Curry's going to have to put it up, launches it up. Oh, he knocks it down. And he flings one from 45 feet. And, and you know it's tracking the whole way. And it just goes in all next. It had no chance of going in, but he nailed it. Another one of those parking lot threes for Curry. And then he'd launch one more for the record books. Back to Curry, three-pointer. Puts it in, and a foul! Nine triples, an NBA Finals record. And Golden State will head to Cleveland with a 2-0 Finals lead. I got a good win in 2-0. Got to go to Cleveland, man. Get it done. When the scene shifted to Cleveland, the Warriors were looking to keep up the pressure. And guiding them was Steve Kerr, a man who knows plenty about winning titles, both as a player and as a head coach. Go four lines, here we go. It really does come down to the will of the players and, and how hard they're playing, and how in tune with the game plan they are. Make yourself available. Let's get a really good screen over here. You know, what he adds to this ball club year in and year out, from our demeanor to our knowledge of the game to, our, to the system that we run, like what he yeah, adds can't be matched. Just run all the way off. You guys got whatever you want. He knows how to pick and poke everybody's buttons to get the best out of them. He's just great at keeping his eyes on the big picture. And he wants to win championships. We take care of business. Trust yourselves over 48. It's gonna happen. Let's right? go. Yeah, you gotta really want this one, fellas. Let's go take it. Just us, one, two, just, just us. us. All right, here we go together. One, two, three. Together. Yeah. Come on, Paul, let's go. From the opening moments, the Cavs played with the urgency of a team trailing two games to none. LeBron backs up to the left elbow. Bill swings at J.R. Smith, the three-pointer. That's good. And boy, does that have to feel good for J.R. Smith. Here's LeBron working on JaVale McGee. Steps inside. McGee throws it off the backboard and does it. Oh, goodness. LeBron James, great recognition, great awareness, tremendous God-given ability. That play he just made will be talked about a long time after we're finished. What a start for the Cavaliers. It's what we expected, right? Everybody's loud, yelling, and everybody's excited. Stay patient, stay poised. Rocked by a furious attack, the Warriors turned to Kevin Durant to stem the tide. When we got down 16 to four, I seen we weren't making shots, and I just tried to get to my spots and said it was down. This is the largest lead the Cavs have had in these finals so far. Durant fades to the paint, shoots and scores. Here is Durant. Durant for three off the dribble, knocked it down over Jeff Crane. That is Gay! That's okay! What a first quarter for Kevin Durant. 
Durant, the handle, the crossover, the pull up. Shot's good. And they've come back to tie the game. In the second quarter, Cleveland answered, putting the Warriors back on their heels. James double, Love way outside. It's good. Kevin Love, terrific first half. And it's back up to a dozen. And the Cricket Loans Arena crowd loving it. Kevin always has a sense for when he's needed. He just took over. Here comes Durant, drives on Nance. Shots up, he banked it in, got pushed toward the Warrior bench. Count it and one. 24 points for Durant. And the first half comes to an end. He kept us in it in that first half. He could have easily been down 20. Golden State had taken Cleveland's best shots in the first half, but thanks to KD, they were still standing. He's terrifying for defenses. He's a devastating force, the likes of which we've hardly ever seen in this league. Durant waiting for some space, rises and scores. Kevin Durant torching the Cavaliers. He's got 34. Durant goes to Kevin Love, pulls up jumper. Got it! Kevin Durant with 40. With less than three minutes to go and the Warriors up four, LeBron James knew it was now or never for the Cavs. Rebound, Kevin Love, back out, James. Fakes, sets, fires. Bang! One point game. All right, here we go, fellas. Right where we want to be. Protecting a one point lead, the Warriors got a lift from Andre Iguodala who had just returned from a seven-game absence. Durant finds Iguodala, goes inside and throws it down. Then they're back up three. After a stop on the defensive end of the floor, Kevin Durant was determined to seal the deal. I enjoy those moments when the other team and the crowd feel like they have some hope, and then you just shut the door. Durant pulls up downtown. Durant for three, way downtown. To pull up from 33 feet with the game on the line and hit that dagger, like that's the stuff that makes your legend. That's where you become an icon in basketball. That's where you become what history talks about. Those are the things people remember beyond the series. They'll say, remember Kevin's game three shot You'll remember who won, but you remember those three or four moments that stick in your mind. The most gifted scorer on the planet. He makes the impossible look easy. One of the greatest players to do it, man. One of the greatest to do it. A dazzling display from Kevin Durant. It's a playoff career high, 43 points for Kevin Durant. 15, 20 years from now, you look back and say, on this day in history, Kevin Durant scored you know, 43 points in the finals versus Cleveland in game three. Golden State was within one victory of repeating as champions. Riding a powerful wave of momentum, the Warriors now had a chance to sweep their way into NBA history. The biggest thing to think about is you know, trying to win a basketball game tonight and lock in on all the details that you guys have trained for all year. It's the only thing that matters. Lose yourself in the game. It's about us tonight, bro. This is the night that we deserve. Let's take advantage of it. Just trust, just trust, just trust. The journey back to the mountaintop had tested the Warriors in ways they never could have imagined and was a tribute to their talent and shared sacrifices. If you enjoy seeing the beauty of the sport unleashed. If you like to just appreciate excellence, this is the ultimate. A team that when they're functioning on all cylinders is as good as any team we've ever seen in the history of the league. Durant cuts inside, gorgeous pass there from Draymond Green. It's the outstanding ball movement and man movement. 
And it's not just about me, it's not just about K player or Draymond, and, you know, everybody has a, a, a part in, in our success. We're all different, we're all unique. I think it just, it's just a perfect combination, it works. It don't matter who gets the credit, it don't matter who scores 30 that night. We just want to win. Durant gets the ball in the backcourt, pressured by Jeffrey, left hand dribble. Spins to back to the right hand. Curry flares by, chased by James. Curry fires away. Good! Steph Curry over LeBron James. In the end, these Golden State Warriors earn their place in NBA lore together. LeBron James congratulating some of the Warriors and will get a standing ovation here at Crick Lodge Arena. We have guys that are able to sacrifice. They're able to sacrifice shots. They're able to sacrifice ego. To have multiple all-stars, to have multiple guys in the court that are sacrificing for one another. That's when, that's when greatness happens. Final seconds here of this 2018 NBA season. Golden State Warriors have won back-to-back -back NBA championships, and they have won three of the last four NBA titles. Hey, we're back, man. The fact that we were able to repeat and join the short list of teams that have been able to do that. <laughs> that's that special. That's something that I'll always remember as you know, being a back-to-back -back champ. Back to back. It is, uh, it is one of the best feelings in the world. And this year, the back-to-back -back NBA Finals MVP, Kevin Durant. We remember as a team that did it together. Not one man was bigger than the group. That's the sign of a true team. I think our team is a... Uh, is a metaphor for, for everything in life. Hard work, working together, caring about each other. You help us get here, don't ever forget that. You help us win playoff games. You've earned your spot in the NBA. This group has built a culture from the ground up, endemic to who they are. Everybody makes the culture, lives by the culture, owns the culture. John Wooden's got a great quote, which I think is appropriate. It says, it's amazing what you can accomplish when no one cares who gets the credit. Simple, but hard to do. This dude right here is wise beyond his years. This is his first one, my son. This one, this one. What's memorable about this one is how difficult it was. In many ways, it's more difficult when you've been doing it for a few years and you're trying to stay up on top of the mountain and everybody's trying to knock you off. So to me, this season was one about resilience. For the Warriors, they're 328 and 83 in the four years under Steve Kerr. That's almost an 80% winning percentage. And no team in history has ever had that four year run. I think this will honestly be remembered as one of the best teams of all time. Right now, we're looking at them like, yeah, they're, they're in the conversation. I think they have that kind of potential. That's sort of the next goal, is to sustain this level of achievement, this level of success, for a very long period of time. joyous day in Oakland, see a bunch of good fans and just have a lot of fun in the sun. 2017-2018, back to back, your world champion, Golden State Warriors! We were champs together, it's great to be back here, it's great to bring Larry home. Never really imagined that uh, we would be having one parade, let alone two, now three. That's pretty special. 
It's pretty good. It's fun to see all of their hard work coming to fruition. These are passionate fans, man. It's Dub Nation. The journey was was a long one, but these guys were amazing. They turned it up during the playoffs, and just the competitive fight they have is incredible. We're gonna do this thing again. All the love and support. I'm gonna try to get greedy and go get some more. So. Appreciate it.